When we think of extreme weather, thunderstorms, blizzards, and tornadoes often come to mind. But out of all of these, nothing is stronger, bigger, or can cause more damage than hurricanes. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia, and Kids Health Net. Today, we're going to learn some cool facts about how hurricanes form and what makes them so powerful. Hurricanes start over warm ocean water. The water has to be really warm, like how a pool feels on a hot summer day. As the sun heats up the water, some of it turns into gas and goes up into the sky. This warm, wet air starts to spin around and around, making an area of low pressure near the ocean surface. More warm air keeps going up and cooler air comes in to take its place. This keeps happening over and over again, like a big circle. When this happens, it can create a small storm called a tropical disturbance. If the water stays warm and there isn't too much wind, the tropical disturbance can grow into a bigger storm called a tropical depression. As the wind gets faster, it can turn into a tropical storm. And if the wind gets even faster, over 74 miles per hour, 119 kilometers per hour, it becomes a hurricane. Hurricanes can get really big and strong as they move over warm ocean water. When a hurricane gets close to land, it can be very dangerous. The fast winds can damage buildings, trees and power lines. Hurricanes also bring a lot of rain, which can cause flooding. Sometimes, the winds and rain can make the ocean level rise really high, flooding the coast. Scientists who study weather, called meteorologists, use special tools to watch hurricanes and figure out where they might go. They use satellites, which are like cameras in space, to take pictures of the hurricanes. They also use radar and airplanes to measure how fast the wind is blowing and how much rain the hurricane has. By studying hurricanes, meteorologists can tell people if a hurricane is coming their way. This helps people prepare and stay safe, and sometimes they might even need to leave their homes to go somewhere safer until the hurricane passes. Don't forget to subscribe!